All right, I want to thank you for watching this episode of BTR Outdoors. I forgot the name of my show. Ooh, that's bad. Yeah, I can't believe oh it. Oh my gosh, you have teeth or something in there. All right, I want to welcome you to this episode of BTR Outdoors. And on this episode, we are going to make some salted bait. I know if you remember several episodes back, we made it with uh, either chicken liver or beef liver. I really can't uh, remember, but it worked really well. So this time we are going to salt and preserve some shrimp. And we're going to do it uh, a few different ways. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, we're going to make us some salted shrimp. And this is going to, I'm making it for some uh, catfish bait. I use shrimp all the time and I know shrimp is a very good catfish bait so we're going to use the uh, salted method to toughen it up so it stays on the hook a little bit better and I'll show you how you can do this and what you're going to need is of course some shrimp and I just bought the cheapest bag of shrimp this was like five dollars it's raw peeled uh, deveined and already has the tail off it's kind of a medium but about perfect from what I'm looking for. And then I got just got some regular plastic bags. I might need those. The salt is probably the most important thing. I use the Mort Morton canning and pickling salt. Um, this is the best salt that you can use in my opinion. You can uh, use kosher salt. Just make sure it doesn't have any of the uh, iodized salt in it because fish don't like that it gives it a real bitter taste to them i got some containers to do the uh, process in and i even got a little garlic powder uh, just to try a little variations uh, with the shrimp but it's a real simple process and this is all you need so uh, let's get started okay the first thing you got i got my bowl i'm gonna open up this salt because one thing about this kind of process is you, you don't use a lot of salt. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it in the bottom of the bowl and get a good layer of salt. Smooth it out. Then I'm going to take my shrimp. So this is my shrimp. The only bad thing is I was letting it thaw out. It still has a lot of ice, so there's going to be a lot of moisture. And that's what the salt's going to uh, draw out. I, would, I should probably drill some holes so this can uh, leak out. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and do it like I normally do it. I never really have issues. If I can shake a little bit of this. I'm just putting it in there. I don't want them touching. So put me a layer of shrimp. Some of these are still frozen. Okay. All right. Get those pushed down in there. And then once you got, um, your layer, you're going to take some more of your salt and cover them up. And that salt's going to draw all the moisture out of those shrimp. Cover them up real good. Now I'm going to add another layer. I'm going to put a couple more shrimp, a little bit more salt, we'll let the drying out process begin. Right. Right. said you use a lot of salt but the good thing about this is you can re reuse it 
All right. There you go. And then what I'm gonna do is let it set. Probably, since it does still have a lot of moisture in it, it's probably gonna be a two or three days. I'll just leave it here in the barn. Check on it every day and see how we're doing. But let's make up another little batch. This one will make a little bit different. At this one we got our container. We'll layer the bottom with some shrimp. Okay, what I'm going to add to this first is some garlic powder. Get them good and coated. And then I'm going to add some salt. Move that up some. All right. A little garlic powder. I'm not being stingy at all. I want it to have some pretty good flavor. All right, put a little bit more garlic powder on top. That way when I mix it around when I'm checking on it the next couple of days, got that flavor in there. All right, and that helps me uh, keep it apart to unlabel it too. All right, so I got the garlic and I got regular salted shrimp. And I still have some regular shrimp left over. And what I'm going to do with these is hopefully this weekend I can do a little uh, fishing. And I'm going to use regular shrimp, the garlic shrimp, and the salted shrimp. And I'm going to see which one works best. And here's a little secret recipe that I made. Now these ain't salted, but let me warn you, they look totally gross because I took some shrimp and I poured a packet of grape Kool-Aid in there. Okay. That's grape Kool-Aid. I know it looks black, but those have been set, setting in the refrigerator overnight. Just soaking it up. And I'm going to try... I'm not sure if I'm going to salt these or not. I don't know if I have enough salt left, but... I'll probably just try just the um, raw shrimp with the Kool-Aid and we'll see how that works. So we got the garlic shrimp, salted shrimp, we got regular salted shrimp, and we have the grape Kool-Aid shrimp. And we're gonna see which one, oh, and just the regular Plano shrimp. And we'll see which one works best see if we can't get us some uh, catfish. This should be a pretty fun experiment. But that's all you really need. It's a simple process and we'll come back in um, 24 hours. We'll check it. But like I said, it's probably going to take a few, uh, few days. I'll probably let it go the rest of the week. I'm hoping to go fishing uh, Saturday morning. So I'll probably let it go all the way till there. Then I'll bag it up and take it and some of the benefits of this is you don't have to refrigerate it once it's properly i guess cured it's gonna make the bait tougher where they can't take it off the hook as easy and you can just leave it in, um, in your tackle box you don't have to refrigerate it 
and it, it should last a long long time I know when I did the uh, livers uh, they lasted several months um, before um, until I used them all up and they were perfectly fine they never had that smell to it like it was uh, rotting or anything so I'm hoping these will do the same thing okay it's been 24 hours so let's uh, open this up yeah you can feel the uh, the moisture and the salt oh yeah that's coming up real nice if you look it's a little it's a lot harder to pull apart oh yeah that's going to stay on the hook pretty good all right I'm gonna keep letting them soak not soak but dry out and then probably what I'll do is put them in some plastic bags and they'll be ready for uh, fishing let me check out some ones that are being soaking for I think 48 hours now these are some different kinds of shrimp that I used oh yeah yeah that's gonna work out perfect that's gonna make it really tough like I said I'm just gonna let these stay in there for a little bit longer this is the one I drilled holes in but no juice really came out so I don't know if I did that wrong or or maybe not I don't have enough shrimp in there but either way they are coming along nice all right just want to give you a quick update on that all right, I want to thank you for watching this episode of BTR Outdoors. I hope you enjoyed it. And I can't wait to try out that salted shrimp and see which one is going to be the best catfish bait between them. So we got the garlic, the salted, the Kool-Aid one, and then just the regular shrimp. And uh, we'll try to take them fishing and see which one works the best. So, but I want to thank you for watching. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and uh, that helps out my channel a lot we are creeping up to 900 and it won't be long and we'll have a thousand so uh, I just want to thank you all very much for uh, watching the videos leaving comments I get quite a few comments and I've been getting a lot of them about the you know the salted baits I know a lot of the salted baits are used for um, ocean fishing or sea fishing but uh, I know the liver worked uh, pretty well for catfish and just uh, lakes around my house so I got a feeling the shrimp is gonna work out pretty good too and like I said the benefit is it stays on the bait or it stays on the hook a lot better makes the bait tougher um, it does have that uh, salty scent and then adding the garlic power and the kool-aid I'm hoping that it's going to just create a lot more scent to drive those catfish crazy. So, until our next video, and uh, hopefully I can get to go fishing this weekend, and I'll let you know how it goes. All right, y'all have a good one, and catch you later.